Good morning and welcome to Utopia Farms. It's an absolutely spectacular winter's day today in Joyceville, Ontario, Canada. Temperature is probably just a little below freezing. It's only a gentle wind instead of the terrible winds we've been having. The birds are out, the sun is shining. We got a little bit of a snowfall last night. Supposed to have a terrible uh, next few days, but today is gorgeous. The birds are out screeching. Those are the blue jays that are making all that noise. So let's hope that everything is just as good in the barns as we go in and check on the lambs and sheep today. So. Nah. This is Annie and Crooked Legs. Having their morning bottle. Oh. Nah. Figure it out. There you go. I don't want to be doing the holding thing with these guys because uh, they get a little spoilt with that for the bottle feeders later. So, yeah, so she they can get their hugs and stuff when they're not having their bottle. But uh, I'm just trying to hold it like this. Are you full, Annie? Are you full now? Oh, Crooked Legs drank all hers. Yes, yeah, she did. And, you, and, and you, you were a little bit messy. Yeah, you just got a little messy. And I think you're full. Because you're a little smaller than Crooked Legs. So you don't have to eat as much. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. There. Would you like more? Yeah. She wants a little more. You're a good girl. Yeah, you guys are good girls. As soon as we bring the misfit uh, group over to the coveralls, which should be, I don't know, within a week, um, then these guys are going to go out with Heather and her lambs in the new misfit pen, pen which will have lots of room at that point. So, uh, and they'll do fine in there until it's their turn to go to the coveralls. And Arnie's uh, working on that you with the big nipples. The lambs were crying again this morning. They're not big, but they're, they're long. So a lamb has to figure out, like when it's trying to nurse on it, the nipple bends over so it can't really reach, like it can't grab hold. They, they get that as they get older and more experienced. They get a little knack for flicking it in their mouth. But uh, these guys, at two days old, just, uh, yeah, once they're on, and she loves it because she's got tons of milk, so she wants them to nurse. But you can see right from my angle, I know there's a lot of gates in between. But um, you can see both lambs are on. Once they're on, they, they have no problem nursing. She loves it. She stands there for it. But uh, they just have to get that little knack to get that long nipple into their mouth and the reason we knew that they, they weren't on again is because uh, um, everybody else in the jugs when we did our morning check was nice and quiet and those two were crying so they were hungry hi are you, are you climbing up for attention yes you are yes you are because you're cute like Annie too Annie just has spots but you're just as cute and crooked legs um, will look like a Suffolk when she grows up. And same with Annie. Annie will also look like a Suffolk. All these little speckles will also disappear. So they'll both look like Suffolks when they grow up. Annie's spots are not something that uh, she will have forever. She'll just have them for the next, uh, where is she now? She'll just have them for the next uh, few months. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, I'm gonna go do chores now. You had your food, you had your food. 
You did. You did. You did. <laughs> and she'll also get a black nose when she gets older. Oh, you like that. That feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, off to do chores. <laughs> so we're in the young lamb pen. This is where Hunchy is. So Hunchy's got her bottle. Her sister's in here somewhere. Her sister doesn't really need a bottle, but I brought her one in case she wants it. Oh, and there's my 79 ram that I'm keeping my eye on. like him a lot. And I checked uh, my records today. And uh, he's from Handsome, the guy who was hitting Ernie that time. And the other one in here that I like is 85. And he is also from Handsome. And number two is from Felon. So here's my 85 right here. So I brought two extra bottles, one for Hunchy's sister in case she wanted one. But uh, I found a uh, little lamb in here yesterday that looked really skinny. So I want to catch that one and see if it wants to take a bottle. And it looks like a little bit of mayhem in here, so it may be a really difficult catch. But we're going to try. So here's the 79 ram that I'm liking. Just every time I do that, a you comes and stands in front of it. Hunchy, you've had your bottle and you don't need any more. You're, you're turning into a bit of a glutton. A bit of a glutton. Yes, a bit of a glutton. So, there he is. Oh, and there's the other one I like. 85. Uh, Same dad. Difference would be um, this 85 is a little shorter in the loin, I would say. But still a really nice rim. Hunchy. Hunchy. It's getting extreme now. I don't have a bottle. You drank your bottle. And I don't have any more. You're a glutton. And guess what? In this pen, there's all kinds of hay and creep feed. You can eat that. And there's lambs that look like uh, Annie. Look at this. The ewes have hay, but they see Arnie putting hay out for the lambs in the creep pen. And they're surrounding the pen. Because heaven help there be some kind of food in there that they should have. Okay, this pen's done. I did find the little skinny, we found two skinny lambs in here. And caught them and uh, offered them a bottle and they took it. So that's good. And in this next pen, the lambs are just so much bigger. Hi. Who are you? Who are you? Hello. Who are you? What are you guys doing? You're not Rue, are you? Rue is in this pen. I can't see your number. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. I can't read her, her back. It's fading off now. But this, uh, we just set up the creep pen in the other, the younger side. And the lambs just run and play in there. Um, they're not doing too much eating right now. But in the pen where they're a couple weeks older. Oh, there's my number two. Uh, we got some hay in there for them. And we're getting, starting to get a little bit of a pile up. Nothing compared to what it will be. But we got them in there eating uh, the creep feed. Some are standing on the little platform and others don't need to because they're so big.
look like such a nice mom. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're very, very nice. Where's your lammy? Who's your lammy? I see you got a boy somewhere. Yeah, I bet he's really nice. I bet he's really nice, just like you. Yes, I bet he's really nice, just like you. Oh, I know. You are a cutie. Yeah, you are. Oh, and you're very pretty, too. You are. See, once um, the ewes become uh, accustomed to having their lambs around and not so protective, then they go back into their regular friendly mode. Um, when they first have the lambs, their 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 mothering instincts are in, and they're, they're uh, more concerned about their lambs than having uh, pets and stuff. Hey, but hey, guys. Is this a mom that likes to be pet? Are you her baby? Because you look like her. You do. Is that your lammy? Are both these your lammies? It says you got boys. Yes, they could be your lammies. And they're very nice. They're very nice. Yes, they are. You are a sweetheart. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Me around the corner. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hello. There you are, bud. You're a little bruiser with your milk goiter. Someone told me that's a milk goiter, and, and as soon as I heard it, that was that sounded great to me. It's the chubby lambs that have that. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, that's spooky. Hey. And this is what they do when you're not paying attention to them. <laughs> Am I ignoring you to look at the lambs? He scratches at me. That's right. Excuse me. I'm over here. Hi, you guys. Is that yummy stuff? Is that yummy stuff? Oh, Jerry. Jerry, how you doing? Come here, Jerry. Come here, Jerry. That's the white lamb I'm looking at. And that stance, he looks a little dippy, but he's actually a really nice ram. No wool on his face at all. Hey, we're talking about you. Hey, yes, we are. And Jerry. Jerry's come up. Hello, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy, too. You have been a very good boy. Where's your sister? Where's your sister? Hey? Oh, you're a nice boy. You're a nice boy. Yes, you are a nice boy. Oh. I think my little rams come over to see me. Hey, buddy. We were just talking about you. You're very, very, very proud looking ram. He's very proud, Jerry. Hello. You're very, very proud. He came up to see me. The one with the woolly legs. Hey, buddy, and woolly ears. You're going to lose the woolly face, too. Because you're very nice. Jezebel. And this is this creep area. We got a load in here. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Where's your lammy? He's here somewhere. I know he is. Yes, I know he is. It says you're 57. So we got to find a 57 ram. Oh, yeah. You're such a good girlie. Oh, you got an itch there. Oh, yeah, you do. You got an itch. You get stuff in that little tuft of yours. And then it begins to itch. Yeah, I guess it's all the friendly use today. Because here's Big Betty. Hi. Hi, you are here today too. Everybody wants pets today. Yeah, everybody wants pets. And you got boys too. Oh, and there's one. And could he get any cuter? He's got brown legs. Look at Big Betty's lamb. He's going to come out here. He's got little brown legs. Oh, and there's her other lamb. Big Betty, you are a special mom. One's nursing. You can nurse too. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> Big Betty. You know, they wanted to nurse. Yeah. 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 You have some nice lambs. I can see that. You're a really good mom. Big Betty has had uh, twins her whole life for us. Yes, you have. And she was a twin herself. And she's one of our old girls now. Because it's K year and she's B year. She would be a Texel Suffolk cross. Go see your lammy. He's hungry. You're a very, very, very pretty girl. You are. There's Big Betty. Motherhood calls. That wasn't much, was it, you guys? Hi. Is Big Betty your mom? Yes, yeah, she's a very nice mom. Yes, yeah, you're just a little guy. Yeah, you're a little guy. And I found Angel's son. He's a bruiser. He's 57. There he is. He's got a little texel in him. But he's one of the humdingers in the pen. Good girl, Angel. And there's a whole bunch of them having salt and mineral. Because the lambs are curious about everything, they're going to go up and check these things. And when they taste it, they understand what it is. And that's how they learn about the salt and mineral feeders. Angel, he's a humdinger. He's very large. Yes, he's very large. You did a good job, Angel. Look at the shoulders on that guy. Honey, you should be proud. He's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm out for night chores right now. Um, at night we come into the lambing barn uh, before we go to bed just to make sure nobody's in labor. Um, we did have a ewe that just had uh, twin lambs uh, about an hour ago, so I'll check on them, make sure they're settled into their jug okay, and we'll do the final feeding of the bottle babies in here. And then uh, Hunchy's over at the coveralls uh, now, so normally it would be just in this uh, lambing barn that I'd be working, but uh, you can see right back there that dome that's lit up, that's where Hunchy is. So we're going to take a bottle over there and uh, feed her and I'm going to bring an extra one for those two lambs that were a little skinny and see if I can catch them and top them up again. And I wanted to also mention or say thank you for all the positive comments uh, I got today um, based on our video yesterday. And I do apologize for overreacting. I think. Uh, 
both took uh, a negative comment way too seriously. Um, I think it was because it totally took us by surprise. But um, you all made us see that uh, most people get it. They, they see our videos. They understand that uh, um, we really love the animals here. And uh, their care and well-being is like our number one. So thank you for uh, for the support. I'm gonna head in now, check on Annie and all the others, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see what's going on in here. First job is to feed the monsters. They're getting pretty good at this now. Next, we fill up all the water pails so that the ewes have fresh water all night long. <laughs> I'm guessing Arnie already fed uh, Annie because Annie is just not in the mood for eating right now. She's full. Hey, Annie. Oh, and now she's going to go for a walkabout. That's okay. She can wander around while I do chores. And then I'm going to head over to that uh, big pen over there. Uh, there's triplets in there. That's Heather's triplets. And one of the triplets takes a bottle too. The other two are nursing solely off mom. So we're still helping these two out figure out the nipples. They are just having the hardest time with it. Once they're on, they're great. But getting on is the problem. Annie and Crookie are free. They're walking around the barn. And I see they're over by the lambs over there. Um, to get their exercise. Uh, these two lambs were just born. Is he a humdinger? Is that a big twin? So she just had those. So I gotta record She's, these. Uh, passing her placenta right now as we speak. A nice healthy looking one. Uh, some can be brown and mucky looking but that one's nice and healthy you can tell by the size of these healthy looking lambs Not a picture of that it's a nice healthy one. Oh, and it's out looks like an octopus <laughs> she's got a boy and a girl so as you know we mark her that would be 120 a boy Oh, 120, boy and a girl. There we go. Not the neatest, but we get the point across. You wonder how these sheep can have these guys. But, and it's a twin. Is he a big guy? The ball arm. He's beautiful. You wonder how they can get You're birth lovely. Of... We'll go see who your daddy is. You Who's wonder... your daddy? How they can get birth of that, eh? Is he beautiful? For me? Oh, the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's the sheep, Ernie. <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, is that a humdinger, eh? The ewe's nice, too, but here's Annie and Crookie. So they're just wandering around here. They're going to wander around, follow me around. And that's good exercise for both of them, but especially for Crookie, I'll try to go fast to see. <laughs> I tried to beat him, but, but, ah! But uh, Annie actually, hi Crookie, come on. If I run, they run. It did a good job, Annie beat you. She went right into the milk house. I thought I'd outrun them and videotape them coming up behind me and she passed me and ran in the door before it shut. Come on, Crookie, you can come in. Hi. Hi. There, Annie's here already. Don't let her fall off the sofa. There they are. There's Crookie, too. Quite the investment. <laughs> well, look at how good she's walking now. Yeah, she's probably going to go to the rural. <laughs> well, she's
it's you have to. I've seen them straighten out perfectly. So yeah. uh, if, if it doesn't, I'm surprised. But most of them, they'll they'll straighten out. Uh, what do you think, you guys? You guys running the show here? Pretty soon we give him the ball pin and then uh, they can just run the ball all over everything else, I guess. Well, I'm going to send that bot that group of bottle babies over to the coveralls and then I'm going to put the triplets in and so they'll go in with the triplets yeah. with Heather. So there'll be five lambs and Heather. Hey, buddy. Well, we got to go feed Hunchy. We got to go feed Hunchy now. Can you guys wander the barn without us? Yeah. Silly lambs. I imagine when you're young, you're, you're wanting to go on exploring a little bit. Well, as soon as the gate go, opens, they go yeah. running out. This is the walk to feed Hunchy. Uh, a lot of these barn doors we've left open. I don't know. Yeah, you can't see it in the dark. But... These two barns, the doors are left open for the night. We will close it for the lambs here, just because of coyotes. But uh, we're supposed to have a storm tonight, so we'll see what happens. And she and her sister. Sister doesn't really need any, but she comes up, so I spoil her. And now we gotta find the skinny one in here. So it was a little difficult. And then it's a running catch because it doesn't understand that we're helping it yet. Back from the coverall. And I swear to God, we came in here and they say sheep are dumb, but these are smart. Crookie and Annie. Their door is open. They were wandering around here. You saw that. And the door is still open. But Annie's snuggled up with her toy, and Crookie's in there too. They've both gone back to bed, all by themselves. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Good night, you guys. So, everybody's tucked in for the night, so we're going to call it a day and hope you join us again for another episode on Utopia Farms. Bye for now.